Hello, welcome to channel 48. My name is Buck. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the update bug that you might get in Lineage OS whenever you want to upgrade your phone to the latest uh, uh, nightly that is set out there for your model. users complaining that whenever they gonna upgrade and go to settings and then lineage OS updates you know and then these updates will appear there let's let's see how it's gonna work on this phone this is the Galaxy S6 and it's running of course lineage OS including of course the pair whatever that I'm making for phones now so the PC and phones also look good together so um, let's take a look at what is in fact happening let me put you on the tripod okay so in fact we go all the way down here about the phone and then up there lineage OS updates so we click it now what do we see July 22 and the last one was from June that I installed. No, let's check July 28. So let's go for this one. So we're gonna download it real fast. Now there's something that you need to know. This download, if it's gonna install somewhere in Twerp, then you must also know the location of where Lineage OS is storing this and that's what I'm going to show you in Twerp. You should also know that there is another way to update this phone, your phone, and that is by just going to Lineage OS and in fact uh, download the Nightly and copy it via the USB port of your PC to the internal of your phone. At least then you will know where that update is and only thing you have to do is go into twerp and flash it so that is uh, the second method how you could do it and another alternative method would be just go to lineage os with your phone go to your phone and find the update download it it will be set into your your download folder and simply oh you are about to auto upgrade press ok the device will reboot okay as you can see in my case nothing is happening okay so what i'm gonna do uh, hold on let's just power it off Okay, so this uh, cover is really nice, but I can hardly touch the buttons. Volume up, home, and the power out there. The moment we see the logo, we let go. It will bring us in twerp. Okay, so now we're gonna find the location of where Lineage OS. Um, downloaded the firmware to so let's find that location okay there we are we're gonna hit install and you're gonna hit up a level until you cannot go up anymore okay and then you're gonna go to data scroll down and look for lineage OS updates and there it is you see that so we just select it and we say swipe if you installed my mod then your boot animation will be overwritten for the one of lineage os but this is not about my mod this is about you updating your phone you 
you see? It's changing the boot animation of my pair back. So I will have to install that manually again. Or I could go for um, up a level. system I think we will still be rooted I'm not even sure and now I'm updated to the very latest uh, build available for this phone so peeps that's how to do it really easy okay let's take a look at uh, what we have this power system still of course should be still rooted. Let me see. The developers options are gone. Leave me alone. I don't have time for you now. Day no mode. Oh yeah, of course we have Magisk. Mag Magisk is dealing. Uh, let me see my firewall. Okay, it works. Enabled blacklist. Okay, and we are now on the latest of the latest for this phone. July 22. Now we can delete that one. You see? So that's how you gain your space back. And as soon as there's an update, it's gonna be back. So remember, just go to data. And then to the NetOS updates, find it up there and do whatever you have to do. And if you also flash my mod before, flash it back and you'll be good to go. Now that was not so hard to do, right? So there are in fact three ways you can go with your phone to Lineage OS website, download your firmware to the SD card, to the download folder of your phone. Uh, secondly, you could also download it on your computer and then copy it to the phone. And if you downloaded it via the updates, just go into Twerp. As you could see, my S6 would not even go automatically. So not all of these phones are, are really reacting too good. So I think it's a little bug in the, in the, in the system uh, of Lineage OS itself. But of course, Lineage OS is not for noobs. Uh, but we also get noobs, uh, people that never did this before, you know, upgrading their old phone because it's their only solution. For instance, this S3, you know, updated to Android 7 is a dream that came true for many of these people that still have this phone and they paid so much money for it way back that they still love their phone. That's just how it is, you know. Some people still love their iPhone 4 as well. So yeah, that's it peeps, uh, good luck with upgrading your phones and if this video helped out, leave it a like of course and subscribe to my channel. Next on channel 48 will be the iPair X effect, the iPair phone mud and ROM for certain devices. It's a very nice, a lovely makeover including live wallpaper yep the milky way so this is the ipair os milky way that will soon come your way uh -huh. and uh, this will be for every android phone that has a custom recovery and that has the right size uh, screen so yeah it will also uh, be there for the s3 of course and the smaller phones uh, such as the Advance, the S2, the S2 Plus, 
and the Galaxy Prime and of course not to forget about the S4, the S5, the S3 Mini, the S4 Mini and the G1, G5 and the G3. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to uh, get more of that coming up your way if you heard one of your phones in the list some may be a rom and others will be a mod until then